Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. This is video number 12 of our series on Laravel 5.5 new features. Now we're getting to the end, there's 14 total, so we're on video 12. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Notifiable and a small change that went that came to Notifiable, allowing us to send on-demand notifications. Now let me show you guys what this means. And before we do that, I wanna just do a quick review about what Notifiable is, because I think a lot of people still have questions about, about Notifiable in general. So Notifiable is an easy API for us to send notifications in Laravel. This was introduced in Laravel 5.3. And the way this works is we can create new um, notifications stored inside of this notifications folder. This one I created is called new post. So the idea of this, this would show a user that a new post was created, or we could send this to like an admin, letting them know that a new post was published on the website. So once you create this, and you can create this in the terminal, um, you just do php artisan make notification and give it a name, and then it will create this folder and create a notification file just like this. Now the only thing I've done that's a little different is I've customized here, so it says there's a new blog post, read the post, there's a button to read the post, it says thank you for being a loyal reader, just made it, just kind of made it simple. You could customize this by passing in the post information and customize it, but it's we don't need to worry about that for this example. And then you can see here we're returning this as mail. You can send this as mail, as a Slack notification, as a SMS or something. You can have all sorts of different ways to notify users through one simplified API. And that's what Notifiable is all about. Now, nothing is different here per se. Um, I just wanted to kind of get you up to speed with what Notifiable is. This is the same since Laravel 5.3. However, the way we call Notifiable is you need to call Notifiable on the user class or another model which is extends Notifiable. So if we go to our user model here, you can see that it says it uses Notifiable, which means we can send notifications from the user model. And so what this means is if we go to our page controller, I've written an example here of how this might work. This is more like pseudocode, but just give you an example of how this would work normally. This is how we would send a normal notification using the Notifiable API right now. So you would grab a user that you're working with, maybe this is the currently logged in user or whatever, and then you have a post. So say you wanna send them the email about the new post, you would then use the user model right here, which is the one that over here extends Notifiable, so you wanna use that model and then use the send, the notify, and it gets all the information about where to send it and stuff from the user the user model because it extends notifiable. Because of that connection, it's able to figure out where to send it and how to send it, and then it can send the notification here. All we do is we call in the new post. In this case, the notifications is called new post, and then we can pass in information if needed. In this case, we might pass in the post object just to to fill in the notification to customize it or something like that. So that's an example of how you would use it normally. But have you ever ran into a case where you wanna send a notification but you don't necessarily have a user model that you wanna send to it to? This actually, it doesn't happen all the time, but it, I have had a few times where I wished I could send it, and now you can. And these are called ad hoc notifications, on-demand notifications in Laravel 5.5. And you can do this now without having the user model. You can actually send a notification without that user model to send off of it. And it's really, really cool. So to show you guys how it works, inside of our post controller, I've written kind of a sample example, a, sam <laughs> a sample example. So. Um, inside of store here, we validate, we create a new post, we save the post, and now let's say we wanted to let the, the uh, admin know that a notification, send them a notification that a new post was created. And so now we can do that by hard coding the information. Instead of going and like getting a user model, instead of going here and getting like user and then like finding the um, admin or whatever, I can just inline send the notification using the uh, on-demand notifications. We don't need the user model to do it. So to do that, it's actually pretty easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a new fa facade called notification, and we're gonna say notification route. And this is going to tell it where to send the notification. Now the way the notifications API works, you can send notifications across multiple mediums. You could have an SMS one and a text message or like that same thing, a Slack notification, an email. So you would mention what that is here. So in our case, we're just gonna send mail 
and then you'll send how you know the address to send it to. So we'll just in our example we'll do admin at uh, Laravel dot dev. Okay, that's the email address that we want to send it to. So once we do that, this here basically takes place of what used to be user. Uh, user. Okay, so in the past we would use user notify new new post, right? Like that. This is how we used to do it. Now it works basically the exact same way. It's just in case instead of user, which automatically had all this information, we just use notification route and we manually basically hard code it in. Once that's done, everything's the same. We can just grab this notify, put it over here. So now we do route that this replaces our user and then we just say notify new new post and then pass in the post information like that. Let's go ahead and add a semicolon there. Let's clean this up, get rid of the errors. There we go, and that's all it takes. So now we can go ahead and test this in the browser. Now before we do that, we do need to import new post and notification. So let's go, oh, I've actually already done that for the example for you. So make sure that you have uh, use notification, and then we also need to import the new post, so app notifications new post, because app notifications new post, and then we have access to all of that there. So that's it, so now let's go over to our browser and let's take a look at this. So I'm actually, I've got this set up right now. It's going, we're gonna use MailTrap to catch all the emails. So that's why I don't own this Laravel.dev obviously. I'm just sending it off because we'll catch everything inside of MailTrap. So let's go and create a new blog post and let's try this out. Oh, we need to go slash posts, slash create. Let's make a new post, post title, uh, post content. And then let's, uh, we have to have a phone number basically because It's uh, part of the validation. Let's go ahead and submit it. And here we go, we get a blank page. And that's just because in our controller, when we store it, we don't actually return anything. So it, well, a blank page is expected, but we should have a new notification that was hard coded and sent to us. So let's go back over here. Here we have our new post. And if we click it, you can say there's a new post. You can read the post. Thank you for being a loyal reader, just like the notification that we customized. And there we go, it works. So that's it, that's on-demand notifications. Really easy to set up. Basically, instead of using the a user model, you could just replace it with this notification route and then just hard code the information. So that's a new option that you have. Really, really good to know about. Um, this can be really good with sending like admins, emails and notifications. You can just hard code the information for the admins instead of having to do a database request uh, to go get the information from the database and then use that. You can just now hard code it. A little easier, easier to read. You can kind of see what's going on. So something to think about. That's on-demand notifications in Laravel 5.5. Now the next video, episode 13, we're gonna talk about rendering emails in the browser. So this will be really applicable to what we just did. All right, so I will show you guys that here in the next video. See you there.